convey the merit and demerits also. I will uh, speak in a critical reading. That is, uh, though the the article was published in 2005, I think it is at the present it is very valuable for uh, us because after the COVID, the students and teachers in India are more familiar with the, the technologies, different types of website, different apps or uh, chat box, all things. By using uh, these technologies, the students can improve their listening and speaking skills. How? There is the importance of a teacher. The teacher should give more inputs, uh, giving some audios, videos, visual medias, all these things. By helping the students, uh, after hearing the uh, listening, the video, teacher should ask some questions. It can be yes or no questions, objective type questions, or after watching the video, uh, the students can or narrate the story. Likewise, or divide the students into a particular groups, peer groups, and ask them how do they feel after watching the uh, video or listening to some kind of audios. In the same way, giving more uh, exposed to the language that can help the student in learning language, that means English. Uh, the author uh, speaks about the merit and demerits also. The, some of the merits are, uh, uh, this can help the students or this give the students more uh, ambience, the expose to the language so that he can acquire the language. Uh, and also the live chat, the students can give uh, more opportunity and also give confidence. Yes, they are able to speak or they can give some message to their friends. The same way, these are the, some of the uh, merits the author wants to convey through his articles. The demerits that he wants to uh, say uh, says that uh, the, some uh, some kind of technical issues can be happened in this uh, problem, and also the the, uh, the 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 storage capacity of the mobile or laptop that can affect the studies. The continuity of the studies can be affected, and also it can be sometimes it can be a teacher-centered program. So by using these technologies, uh, the author wants to convey that. We can also adopt uh, this method, helping the students in learning and speaking or listening the language called English. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for this uh, wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Now, next, uh, Lakshmana. Lakshmana, yes. Are you there? Lakshmana? Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Continue. After Lakshmana, Chansaya from Telangana. <clears throat> Sir, am I visible, sir? It will come, it will come. It is not visible. Sir? Sir, am I visible, sir? Yes. Sir, good afternoon to everybody. Esteemed our RIE faculty, three, Dr. Hitu Chandra sir and my dear friends, good afternoon. Yes, yes Lakshmana from Andhra Pradesh. Today, I have selected an article written by K. Jagan Mohan Rao. The name of the article, English for Specific Purpose and Imperative Need in Our Curriculum. Okay, next. What is the importance of this uh, English for specific purpose? English for specific purpose in the modern competitive world of teaching and learning. And also, it in, also in, discusses the origin of ESP as a practical approach to achieving the success in the classroom learning and in employability of learners. It includes various learning strategies and responsibilities of the teacher. English for specific purpose is a learner, learner-centered approach to teaching English as a foreign or second language. It meets the needs of adult learner who need to learn a foreign language for use in their specific needs. 
the EFT, that means, sorry, uh, English for specific uh, purposes designed to meet the specific needs of the learners and also related in content to particular purposes and uh, certain disciplines uh, and certain uh, occupations. It centered the language appropriate uh, such as uh, Lexis, discourses, and semantic and analysis of this uh, discourses, and also this uh, English for specific uh, purposes is uh, related to general English. Without uh, general English, uh, nowadays uh, many children and many unemployment students are trying to learn. Uh, the uh, communication skills. Without communication skills, they could not get in uh, employability. You have to develop an understanding of the factors uh, and also uh, this uh, use to assist the student. English for specific uh, purpose of uh, uh, language, students need to learn preparing a syllabus and develop needs assessment and general Analysis for a specific group of learners. And EFT, English for specific purpose, can concentrate more on the language in context than, in context than on the teaching grammar and language structures. It covers varying subjects. Uh, nowadays, uh, uh, English is the very essential to every person in the society. Yes, we combine the subject matter and English language teaching. This is highly motivated because the students are able to apply what they learn in their English classes and main field of study. And also, as we are all teachers, we have to follow some responsibilities. Uh, what is the role of the teacher in the English for specific needs? As a teacher, we already have experience as English teachers as a second language, either second language or the uh, foreign language. Can excel in the language teaching. The teacher should recognize the way in which the teaching skills can be adopted for teaching. And also, every teacher should observe whether the learner is learning in the way or not. And the teacher should correct the, if whether the student or learner made some mistake and we have to correct them, sir. And sir, also... Sir, the, sorry, Patunda, sir. Sorry, Patunda. Sir. I been. Okay, okay. Thank you for giving this great opportunity, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Next, Sensei, yes, sir. <clears throat> After Sensei, Gayatri, madam, from Karnataka. Sensei, yes, sir. Sir, okay, sir. Huh. Am I audible, sir? Yes, sir. <coughs> sir, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, respected faculty, sir, good afternoon. And my dear friends, uh, I have selected an article uh, from International General, published online. The name of the article use of mobile phones in English language learning a study uh, written by Shikaram Neelima, Assistant Professor, Vagdevi TZ and Degree College, Varangal, Telangana, sir. Uh, sir, the author discussed about uh, use of mobile phone in learning English language. Uh, she discussed, uh, she raised the valued points, sir, how mobile are using uh, 
mobiles are using in learning language, learning English language. Uh, she highlighted many points, sir. Um, so now, for example, uh, now I am attending this class using cell phone, particularly in the pandemic. Uh, are uh, using mobile phone very much to access our students. Uh, there are uh, many advantages in uh, using these mobile phones uh, to acquire knowledge, to acquire English language, uh, such as uh, uh, um, dictionaries, uh, learning apps, and spell sec. Like that, we, uh, we can use mobile effective. And also, there are uh, some disadvantages also there, sir. Uh, she raised uh, disadvantages also, sir. She mentioned disadvantages, sir. Such as uh, um, excess dependency on uh, mobile phones. Mm, the uh, thinking, the memory power will decrease, sir. Uh, we cannot uh, um, uh, think, just we can uh, copy and um, we can habituate to copy and paste system. So that is, this, is, this kind of uh, things uh, adversely affects uh, both uh, uh, teachers and the students, sir. And then here is a study. Uh, according to a survey, 92% of teachers use uh, mobile internet uh, to obtain content resources and materials and 87% uh, of uh, students use mobiles to play games uh, uh, to take pictures so uh, I observed in this uh, according to, to this data uh, the students uh, are using mobile phone technology in a negative way, this is a ill effect of the education system, sir. Uh, a teacher, uh, a parent and a teacher monitoring should be there while uh, using uh, mobile phones, uh, students using mobile phones, sir. So otherwise, uh, uh, it may uh, lead to uh, ill effect of the uh, education uh, system and the
digital uh, stories some sentences are maybe missing so we have to concentrate on that and we can um, saku, saku, no saku bari saku bari <coughs> thank you talai bini madam yenge irkinga hey sir good afternoon sir good afternoon nalla ma nalla irukke sir nalla Am I audible, sir? Yes, please. Only yes. camera is not there. Oh. Yeah, it's not wrong. Am I visible, sir? Now it will come. It will come. You can continue. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. I am happy to meet you all in this platform. I am G Kalaiwani, a trained graduate teacher working in Puducherry. First of all. i thank all the faculty members and the coordinators for giving me this wonderful opportunity i have chosen dr pooja kalyas article english language teaching in india trends and challenges as my topic for the presentation to begin with teaching and learning english in india has always been a challenge both for the teachers and for the learners according to our author english language is insufficiently developed in our schools This article throws light on current trends, issues, and challenges that all language learners and teachers are facing. Various obstacles like large number of students stuffed in small classroom, lack of confidence, lack of motivation, lack of reading habits, or some important factors that makes the entire process infutile. Various aspects of teaching and learning are highlighted in this paper. The importance of teaching. the language in order to fulfill the ever growing demands of career enhancing to complete the various competition competitive exams or stressed the focus is given that how students can put their learning into practice through effective communication skills the importance of teaching english in order to fulfill the ever growing demands of english language is also stressed at present the challenges before the english language teachers in india are diverse and it is necessary to shape up accordingly to meet the demands of the day author's suggestion is that the objective of teaching english should not be producing bookworms instead motivate the students by creating awareness regarding importance of english teacher need to use and decide on what method to use and when it is worthwhile that teacher should keep in mind various approaches rather than a specific method the secret of success in the classroom is to ensure that no one feels bored or left out as a teacher we should encourage individual participation too in teaching a foreign language the proper judicious use of mother tongue proves immense help proper feedback should be there as a good teacher we need to renew ourselves to remain alive and innovative teaching can be made more interesting by using audio visual aids hence in my view teacher and learner are the two eyes to the teaching and learning process as abdul kalam says winners don't do different things but they do things differently i agree with the author's point of view that we have to spend we have spent too much time in learning the rules and not enough on practicing it in real life so this is a need of the hour i have decided to follow her suggestion and make my classroom teaching live and innovative thank you sir okay next jansi madam sir may i audible sir yes, yes. thank you sir yes. good afternoon professor sir and all our beloved teachers as we know our profession is very great teaching profession only i think can make all other professions 
coming to the point i selected a great article it's a title understanding ambiguity from the daily newspaper the new indian express it was published on um, 10th may 2021 this year written by a great textbook writer columnist and uh, an english language teaching expert named uh, albert p ryan understanding ambiguity is an interesting topic it's very interesting so ryan in this topic explaining it very clearly in this article he explained about both the lexical ambiguity and the syn syntactic ambiguity he used the inductive method while expl explaining about it so we can understand about ambiguity through this article clearly he explained both the ambiguities with two eye catching examples the first one is call me a taxi the same line understood by others in different ways while the process of interpretation one can understand he might want to buy a taxi the second one is i want a bat bat has two meanings the one is the first one is cricket bat and the second one is the bat it might be a animal or a bird don't know exactly so uh, as a conclusion what the writer said is uh, we have to uh, refer dictionary to understand the sentence clearly and uh, then only we can get the enormous exposure of reading it's a very good article i am giving a uh, four stars for this article because it's interesting and it's clear to understand if anybody wants the article i'll share you just you call me then i'll share you thank you all for paying a good attention on my presentation thank you sir okay orisha sir <clears throat> thank you i'll give my feedback at the end of all your presentation good afternoon sir good afternoon good everyone afternoon. yeah my dear teachers uh, i am harish joshi from adigar district from karnataka uh, today i have i have an article uh, it's related to english language teaching and its problems and solutions in our classroom uh, it was published in the journal of english language teaching it was published in 2016 the video was uh, the video is 5 uh, years old i think it's relevant now uh, the article is written by padikal soni and sk shila from andhra pradesh as the title suggests that uh, the problems and solutions in our classroom since language is going through changes and adapt adapting many things in in day to day life english teaching as a second language in our classroom it is becoming more challenging for the teacher when when it comes to multilingual classrooms or the various backgrounds from the, the having the students from various language background it's a hercules task for the teachers so that's why uh, author suggested several activities for that and they have uh, try to find out the where is the what where is and what is the problem and what may the solutions for them so today uh, i am not uh, discussing all the problems so just uh, one or two problems i am focusing on that so at the beginning they said that identi identifying a problem is the first step towards to solving the problem as yes, i agree with that and uh, when i gone through this article Uh, i feel that the both the writers worried or cared about two things the first one is the fear factor uh, we all know that our students uh, many times many times not many times most of the times they were fearing that they were they, they were fear to interact with the teachers and the others in order to they were protecting their self respect they were thinking that most of the our students may thinking like that if they speak something wrong if they commit any mistake they may have uh, become maybe become a locking stop of the their the, the friend so that's why in order to protecting their themselves uh, their social image and then their practice uh, they are uh, they are unknowingly reducing their success so success is thus delayed in in that uh, protecting that self uh, esteem or prestige uh, that is that is the one thing 
Uh, another one, the other thing is that they focus on the mixed learner group. That means uh, in, in our classes, we have advanced learners and slow learners. I like the word they have used. They are not using slow learners. They say, they say just as beginners are not so quick learners. So they feel that if we have both uh, groups in our classroom, it may be merit also and it may be a demerit, demerit also. They said that if an advanced learner had a good communication with a slow learner, it would be a very good for it may be a merit that he can guide slow learners are not pro quick learners. If imagine that if an atmosphere in case of that any interaction is not possible with do with those two groups, it may be hundred percent definitely that may be the damage for the confidence level of the beginner. So uh, who were not so confident, they may be depressed by that behavior that may that 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 kind of atmosphere so that's why uh, that here they says that the teacher should have a uh, patience uh, regarding that group and he should have uh, some knowledge how to handle or how to tackle those different kinds of groups and one more thing they uh, discussed about that if advanced if advanced learner feels like that he is better than anyone anyone else he may be trapped. Uh, he, he may be trapped uh, within his uh, over confidence. That may be damage to his uh, uh, self learning. Uh, uh, his uh, self learning attitude, or it may be affect on his achievement. So, and some other problems are like that: lack of interest, less exposure to less ex exposure to the uh, English atmosphere and the gap, uh, grammar fear factor, and lack of uh, previous knowledge and motivation. Uh, it may be motivation from. Uh, Lack of motivation from the teachers, atmosphere, the school environment, and lack of uh, uh, motivation from the uh, people or uh, the society, and lack of planning also. So at the uh, end, I feel that I like the word already. I said that uh, they use a not so quick learner, and I think that finally, and even the author said that it can just uh, try to find the solution for those problems. Those uh, problems are not so unique. We may feel in every classes. They are not so completely uh, vanished in our classroom. So just we have to try to solve solve that those problems. If our result okay. is okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Next, uh, Deepa, madam. So can I start? Ah, yes, please. I'm Deepa okay. from Kerala. I'm sorry. Uh, camera in la. It's not working, sir. I'm okay, trying. Continue. Continue. No problem. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Deepa from Kerala. The topic of the article which I selected is Role Play for ESL or EFL Children in the English Classroom. This is prepared by Rana Y. Huan. It is taken from the Internet TESL Journal for Teachers of English. The writer was discussed about the importance of role play in each class. In her opinion, role play gives students an opportunity to practice communicating in different social contexts and in different social roles. Moreover, students can improve their listening, speaking, Madam, your voice is breaking. Your voice is breaking. You are, if you are using mobile phone, then you can just go out of your room and see where network is working. Voice is breaking. Okay, sir. Yeah. It's better, but still it is breaking. No, the same. Okay. It's breaking, madam. Why yeah. is breaking? Mm, yes. Continue. No problem. Continue. She can design and connect several role play activities. Better remove her earphones, madam. Continue, no problem, continue. Finish it, anyways. She 
conducted some role play activities with the students, and she said that the students learned pretty quickly. But then she had to let some of the short plays adapted from children's story books. She realized that students love and play, but the amounts of English words they give are in
Gangadhar sir, you are now muted. Gangadhar sir. Yes sir. Uh. Yes sir. Yes please. Sir, I am, uh, my, you know, good afternoon to everybody. I am from uh, Koppal district, Gangadhar Kalal, Karnataka state. Today I have chosen the journal of uh, the analysis of teacher talk and characteristics of classroom interaction in English language for young uh, learners, uh, published by Nukul Kushnani, the English Department Faculty of Languages and Arts. This study was aimed to find out the type of teacher talk, the characteristics of no classroom interaction take place in English language classroom, and the teacher indirectly influenced the students in teaching and learning process by relying hard on asking questions besides, you know, asking questions to students, teacher also used uh, accepting students' feeling, uh, praising or encouraging students, accepting or even using students' ideas. There is no learning without teaching, you know, so as a tool of implementing teaching plans and achieving te uh, teaching goals, teacher talk plays an important role in English classroom activities. So some studies about teacher talk and classroom interaction have conducted to overcome the problem. The appropriate teacher talk could create positive atmosphere in the classroom and make friendly relationship between teacher and student. Many interactive strategies also appear in the class a teacher talk to make more interaction with the students. The classroom interaction could be more effective in a variety of teacher and student talk was applied in the classroom. The, you know, this research used qualitative methods with a descriptive research type. The purpose of descriptive research is to describe the facts and characteristics of the object or subject studied systematically. The data used in this study were our qualitative data. There are uh, uh, observation and audio recording. Thus, you know, this method was used to investigate the characteristics of the classroom interaction which happened in class. A cell phone would uh, place during the class, it would record how the class takes place. The teacher talk was considered one of the essential features in classroom interaction in the, in the type of uh, indirect influence. There were four categories of the teacher's talk. There were accepting the feeling, praising or encouraging students. In our Canada medium, uh, you know, school teaching English as a second language is not so easy because Almost all the students were interacting in their mother tongue. They don't have English atmosphere in their surroundings. So the term classroom interaction plays a very important role. Classroom interaction is a two-way communication and interaction is a basic teaching learning process. It will be very easy and meaningful for the learners to understand the input students are also motivated by the teacher and participate in the discussion. The classroom interaction develops the two important language skills, speaking, listening among the learners. Classroom is a miniature of the society, students from different caste, creed, area, socio-economic background, and it's a you know, small society. It helps students to develop thinking critically. It helps meaningful communication among the students in their target language. The classroom interaction increases in competency, autonomy, so, you know, promotes the rate of second language acquisition. They will start using the language interaction, motivates students for their active you know, engagement and participation in teaching learning process. You know, learners share their ideas and learn from each other while working together and enjoy using language. Uh, so in order to promote the classroom interaction, we may use the following activities like collaborative learning, on pair group and uh, uh, you know uh, group discussion and debates, interactive sessions, etc. The analysis of teacher talk and characteristics of classroom interaction in English language teaching helps a lot 
So this article is very useful for English teachers and as well as the students, they uh, eagerly participate in the teaching learning process. No doubt it helps uh, uh, to acquire language skills of speaking and listening among the learners. Uh, thank you very much so, for listening my you know uh, article. Thank you one and all. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Sri Bhiranaga Prashad Garu. Are you there? Prashad Garu. Hiranaga Prashad Garu, not there. Okay. So uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Very good afternoon, everyone. Respected faculty, Dr. Hitesh Bhagat, sir and my fellow teammates. This is Prasad from Yanam, Union Territory of Puducherry. I'm so excited and equally nervous to take uh, part in this uh, presentation as my English knowledge is very much limited. I'm a bit hesitant to express my views on this article I read from uh, the Journal of English Language Teaching, Volume 63, number one, January to February 2021. Anyway, since I feel it's a good opportunity uh, for me to go through these wonderful writings of uh, some good scholars who did a lot of research and uh, made significant contribution in teaching English language, which helps not only the teachers like us, but subsequently our students as well. So without having any hesitation, uh, I would like to uh, express my views on the article that I read. The title of the article is... Uh, language learning a matter of correct attitude and soft skills and it was written by uh lieutenant dr anjita Thakur, associate professor acharya narendra dev mahila mahavidyalaya khanpur and uh, i would like to express my uh, gratitude to the author ajita Thakur, who is uh, probably North Indian, uh, who made me to select her article after reading several other writings of eminent authors. One of the reasons is for me to select this uh, article was the language was very simple. Uh, that made me to read uh, from the word, the very first word to the conclusion part without scrolling or skipping any part of the content, which is the most important part of article presentation, I believe. No matter uh, whatever be the uh, target reader's level of English knowledge, I feel uh, the way the text compiled using the easy uh, language and proper sequence of uh, placement of the points uh, should achieve the reader's satisfaction. Because once the reader is satisfied, then obviously uh, the content will be conveyed to the others, it will be shared to the others as well, which enlightens uh, the readers, uh, I believe. That the uh, foremost objective of any article presentation should reach uh, as many readers as possible uh, and inspire them also to make such presentation by acquiring uh, the productive inputs. So let's get into the article in details. I found the abstract of the article in a box in the beginning of uh, the article that gave me a brief note about the whole thing content. And it says it was based on the observations made uh, during an informal interaction with the students of English language and literature at the graduation level to understand the reasons uh, governing their choice of English as an optional subject and main problems they face in achieving their goal of acquiring influency, the fluency in it as a second language. Students have an adequate theoretical knowledge of grammar, but hesitant to use some of the uh, same for communication. It could be due to their attitude, which results uh, in their inability to grasp adequately the flower of the language. The article outlines the skills required by the second language learners for effective uh, acquisition of English and the skills developed as an additional outcome of their language learning efforts. And the keywords are second language learning, uh, fluency, medium of communication, attitude, and soft skills. I uh, refer the dictionary when I uh, have read uh, these terminology, soft skills. I was wondering, like, uh, this, it sounds familiar, but it is not what I really thought. 
I thought that the knowledge of the software and uh, using the computer knowledge, but it is totally different. It it says that the personal uh, attributes that enable someone to interact effectively and harmoniously with other people. It is very essential in on the all the professions. It helps in time management, networking, teamwork, and uh, creative thinking and conflict resolution. And another terminology, attitude. It is a mental position with regard to a fact or a state. So the author says, as an English teacher, she found it difficulty in achieving, especially uh, the Hindi uh, spoken, uh, Hindi dominating state, a standard level of uh, effective and meaningful uh, intercommunication in English in the classroom. She found it difficult. It seems like uh, due to their inability to grasp the language adequately. and the consequential uh, decline in their marks and the result the challenge for the teacher is how it worked through the problematic uh, situations and lead the learners towards uh, a realization of actual goals namely the acquisition of fluency in the language to be able to put it into the use for all the social academic and professional purposes the role of the english teacher gets uh, magnified in leading the uh, students to their desirable level of language proficiency where they have acquired uh, the requisite knowledge to be able to uh, pass through the exams and more than that are aimed at the armed with sufficient skills that will help them cope with the situation they will encounter in their work and career or in any aspect of their lives even if it is being teachers to their own children language learning by itself is an empowering skill as it refines personalities and enhances career opportunities but the process requires efforts and dedication it becomes the responsibility of the teacher to provide the correct orientation to the uh, students and in- inculcate in them that the bent of the mind which will help them acquire knowledge in more substantial manner and through continuous guidance and support keep them on the right track for the desired program the basic skills for sla uh, that is second language uh, acquisition are uh, lsrw listening speaking reading and writing which address the academic uh, requirements but uh, uh, diligent perseverance uh, perseverance of these uh, activities requires uh, primarily an approach to the problem through the correct attitude and the combination of winning soft skills the soft skills required for a language learner which are broad and comprehensive need to be developed through uh, continuous practice and under the guidance of an instructor to become a habit and many prove beneficial these attributes can Uh, be uh, listed as follows so first one is the focus attention to the correct method and concentration on the process without uh, distraction is more important and the commitment half hearted efforts will be at uh, any consequence in achieving the goal of acquiring knowledge skills uh, committing devotion sir. to the task sir, sorry, okay sir. i i can do uh. okay thank you sir thank you so uh, much uh, thank you next sir. option is madam good afternoon sir good good afternoon dr hitesh sir and my dear friends and i am glad to be a part of this 30 days online course so uh, today i am going to pick up the article the use of humor in teaching and learning in english classrooms according to the teachers perspectives and it is written by farhana bakar she is a senior lecturer of language academy Uh, and university of technology which is in malaysia and the source for this article is internet journal of the english for academic purposes a forum for the dissemination of information and views according to the teachers perspectives the use of the humor in teaching and learning have received little attention in the higher education literature humor serves many roles in teaching and learning teachers while teaching should use humor both strategically and pedagogically in facilitating teaching this article explores the different types of humors that teachers should use in relation to three dominant theories of humor the first one is the superiority theory 
the second one is the incognitivity theory and the third one is relief theories intended and spontaneous humor and various types of humors should utilized to facilitate teaching and learning in the classroom are emphasized data for this study were collected by observing the classroom teaching of five award winning lecturers in a university which is in new zealand by students as having a good sense of humor in the classrooms these lecturers were observed while teaching and the interviewed using the stimulated recall interviews which is sri to understand their reflections in action concerning specific humorous moments and specific humorous behaviors while teaching the data indicates that seven types of humors were used either intentionally and spontaneously to enhance students learning or to engage students attention these insights provide a fresh viewpoint on the use of the humor from lecturers perspectives as a teacher there are many strategies that we use to motivate our students every teacher wants to increase students interest and participation in their active classrooms there are numerous positive effects of using the humor in our english classrooms particularly each day which is useful for both the teachers and the students the first one is I, it increases the enthusiasm and confidence in the students joy and happiness optimism and willingness to take the risks and mainly it reduces the stress researchers agree that children who laugh in the classroom develop strong communication and critical thinking skills and become more creative and easily cope up with the stress when children laugh together in group settings they build a sense of team camaraderie creating a strong bond with their classmates and teachers humor is a natural icebreaker that helps to connect children regardless of their differences all of this reduces classroom conflicts and increases the students attention and participation what better way to model appropriate humor than to incorporate funny poetry and literature into your read aloud time playing with words is a higher order thinking skill the witty humor in turn promotes relation of new vocabulary words and can increase the connection between new and previous learning humor can effectively be used in the classrooms as a teaching tool to promote positive learning children of different ages find different things funny by bringing humor and laughter into the classrooms we can maintain a humor log in the humor log in the class which helps you to interact with your students in a good way which helps you to make your method of teaching the easiest way and how the main point coming to the main point that how we can use this humor in our english classrooms is the way to teach the tongue twisters and homophones and synonyms and alliterations etc and the main thing the reason why this article attracted me personally is as i am from telangana state sir it is difficult to in- inculcate the usage of the english language among the students who are from the rural background and english is our second uh, language i chose this article is the best way of discussing and making students to learn about the grammar points and all thank you sir which district madam you are from telangana sir i am from uh, medak district sir uh, ansvel uh, medak and now it is in sangareddy ప్రదేశ్ చిన్నరావు అరు దేర్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ చిన్నరావు జగనాయకులు నాట్ దేర్ అండ్ దెన్ చంద్రగత్ ధావాది ఆమెన్ ఫ్రమ్ కర్ణాటక అరు దేర్ ధావాది గణేష ఫ్రమ్ కర్ణాటక అరు దేర్ అండ్ గీత గీత సి కేరళ ఇస్ దేర్ ఓకే Hasana P I Arudhyar Hasana from Kerala not there and Jadav Suresh from Telangana Arudhyar not there so so Telangana if people if you have any contact with uh, Jadav Suresh you can contact whether contact and ask him to join because once this chance is over next he will not they will not have madam uh, Uh, Uzma madam will not be able to take your pr- presentation all right this is the last one all right so chandrakala madam you present yeah present uh, 
Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I am Chandrakala Nayak, Uttar Kannada District from Karnataka State. Uh, I would like to present the article uh, English and Communication Skills First um, by Shahnaj Tasneem, Savita C. and Rao Cheri uh, in 2015. English and Communication Skills, um, New Delhi, Cambridge University uh, Press. It is reviewed by Nukti Sanyal, uh, in, uh, teacher, teaches English at Bharati College, University of Delhi, and has been active in the ELT field of over three decades. Um, English and communication skills has been commissioned to serve the needs and requirements of the Uttarakhand Technical Education Department. However, it can serve the needs of any young adult looking to improve their English language proficiency and uh, employability in the current global scenario. Today, most stakeholders are keenly aware of the importance of enhancing interpersonal communication, English language proficiency, and workplace-related world knowledge. However, they do not find it easy to buy and well-brought out uh, course uh, book or study material that will help them work on these interrelated skill areas. In my view, the present volume under review fits the bill exactly on several counts. Uh, it lends itself to both classroom use and self-study mode by motivated adults. The format, the unit breakup and the simplicity and Chandrakala, madam, we cannot hear you. Just check your network connection. Chandrakala, madam, we cannot hear you. Chandrakala, madam, we cannot hear you. Check your network. is locked out. Oh. Hello, Chandrakala madam, we cannot hear you. I think she, she has got locked out, got locked out, network problem, okay. Yeah, she so, doesn't appear in the list. Yes, yes, I just checked it, okay, fine. Anyway, so can I take five minutes break? I need to go down to office and come back. Five minutes? Can yeah, I yeah, break? please, sir, please. Yeah, yeah. So, Bagas, sir, teachers and dear friends, I am Geeta C from Kerala presenting before you an article, The Importance of Speaking Skills in English Classroom. This article was published in Alford Council of International English and Literature Journal in 2019, Volume 1, 2, Issue uh, Volume 2, Issue 2. The author, Dr. Parupali Srinivasarao. Presently working as lecturer in English at the English Language Center, King Faisal University, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He is also a member of ELTAI, the prestigious organization for English language teachers. Speaking is the most important skill among all the four language skills. So I take this topic so. English language is spoken all over the world and it has attained the status of global language. In this modern world, communication skills play a vital role. Most of the foreign language learners try to learn English and one must have mastery over these skills to get to success in their respective fields to fulfill their ambitions, desires and goals. According to the author, the classroom is the ideal platform to acquire good communication skills, especially speaking skills. Once the learners practice their speaking skills in their English as foreign language or English as second language classrooms. They get mastery of these skills. 
the lecturers have to understand the the teachers have to understand the problem of english language learners and try to implement various teaching strategies in their classroom this is possible for the teachers when they change their methods and materials by using the latest techniques of teaching learning speaking skills the author suggests that the teachers should introduce some group and pair activities in their regular english classrooms that the english language learners can develop their speaking skills enormously this paper also suggests some useful tips for the teachers to introduce various activities like classroom discussions and debates short speeches brainstorming techniques storytelling listen to music in english and sing along watching movies etc that involve the english language learners more on practicing their speaking skills in english Deepa madam we cannot hear you Geeta madam we cannot hear you Geeta madam we cannot hear you Madam, you are stopped. Geetha, please continue. Yeah, now we can hear you. Please continue. Ah, yes, sir. Ah. The author suggests that the teachers should introduce some group and pair activities in their regular English classrooms, that the English language learners can develop their speaking skills enormously. This paper also suggests to some useful tips for the teachers to introduce various activities like classroom discussions and debates short speeches brainstorming techniques storytelling listen to music in english and the sing along watching movie, movies etc that involve the english language learners more on practicing their speaking skills in english classroom the teachers should also choose appropriate materials suitable for the level of the learners on the part of the learners they have to create a situations themselves to speak not only in the classroom but also outside the classroom the efl or esl teachers have to implement different strategies and techniques in their teaching in order to make their learners proficient in their speaking skills i agree with the author the above mentioned techniques will help the learners to proficient in their speaking skills but in my opinion in our state language is not formally taught subject in spite of being a part of the timetable and syllabus like other subjects such as math science etc most of the teachers and students considered english as a foreign language so most of the teachers imparted english through regional language so it's the duty of the english teachers to choose appropriate materials suitable for the level of the learners and use only english in english classrooms in addition to above mentioned techniques by the author we can conduct in our classroom puppet shows once in a week every day english newspaper reporting your thought for the day chain stories and talk shows we can extend hello english to secondary level also hello english is a very good to inculcate speaking skills among the people then with this i remain thank you okay good so uh, there are some people who are not present today two persons from andhra pradesh chinnarao and jagannayakulu unara chinnarao unara illa jagannayakulu not there uh, dabadi amen from karnataka not there ganesha from karnataka not there are there ganesha ganesha sir not there and then bina kk from kerala anybody know <clears throat> bina kk from kerala she is not there on the site today then hasana pi from kerala is also absent and uh, jadav suresh from telangana is also absent right so others are present so now you have all anybody left all of you have presented right those who are present so 
Now, if you need my feedback, you can come on camera so we can see each other and talk to you. All of you can come on camera. Yes. So that I can also see you. <coughs> yes. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah, all of you can come on camera. Yes, namaste. Right. Right. Look nice. No? Right. All of you can come. Uh, yeah, all of you can come. No problem. Right. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good afternoon, 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 Nice meeting you all. Nice meeting you all. Right. Thank you, sir. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Right. So, uh, I'm very happy that uh, uh, we have gone through one one article and you have prepared very well and presented it. Maybe this is the first article, huh? First article. Yes, yes, article. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, first article. Uh, so don't make so it don't last. Make it, last it is first article, I know, but don't make it last. All right? You see... It depends on your feedback, sir. <laughs> yeah. You see, what happens, you know, the, when you read books, you get, as I told you, you get conceptual ideas, basic ideas, foundational ideas. But the, the journal articles, they are, uh, you know, very recent information on English yes. language teaching. Where these articles are published based on some research work they have done. And after doing their research, whatever insight they have gained, they have published in the form of paper. Now, uh, the moment you read one paper, you see all of you have... Good, very good selections of your papers. All they are relevant to our uh, present, uh, you know, English language scenario. And this is very recent ideas. So what I say that uh, uh, this is first article, and you have got a lot of ideas. So make it a heavy. Don't make it last. Okay, continue to read. And you can subscribe yes. our journal also. We have the English classroom. You can subscribe our journal as I told to other day. So read at least one article uh, every week, one article. So even if you get one single good idea in the article, and if you continue like this, so in the year, you have year 12, 13 articles are there. So you will get at least, if you read, take one good idea from one uh, uh, paper article, you will get 12 or 10 art ideas from 10 different articles, all right? And all these ideas are recent ideas. So you can always incorporate back home in your classroom practice and you can, you know, experiment of what they said and what you have gained, what problems you have faced and what uh, uh, reactions, response you have received from the learners, okay? So first of all, I would like to congratulate you all. Uh, you have all um, uh, completed, your su successfully completed the article presentation. This is one of the important activity for assessment and you have completed it and all of you have had, got very good mark all right uh, and most important is not the mark that the idea they had that you have got and you have uh, yes. got the idea how to access uh, national and international articles okay uh, journal articles and go through it all right continue these things okay? continue uh, reading articles okay and get good ideas. Language wise, very good. All of you have done very good um, things. Uh, uh, so, Sri Devi Madam was asking feedback. You, you have good language and good presentation. What is Thank important you, that you don't, you. Yeah, yeah. you don't need to present each and every line what uh, the author has written. You can just say the name of the author, the name of the article, name of the author, and every article you will see uh, maximum three, three uh, maximum five points. Minimum uh, three points, main point, and maximum five points are included in any paper. Excuse so me, sir. Excuse me, sir. That article is 19 pages, sir. 
19 uh, pages no, actually it, that article yeah, is yeah, that's why i shortened uh, i'll try level best that is yeah. no you see even if this 19 page main point remains five that's only five point main point so as you read you need to find out what is the main point the author is talking about so first paragraph may be okay. the main point second paragraph is explanation or example or, yes, or, or detail of that first point like this so the page uh, gets okay. expanded so but any okay. article you read main topic and some five or three to five related points on the topic so as we read we need to find out those and jot okay. down all the main points while presenting we need to present only those you cannot read uh, because okay, thank we, you it, for for your study you will read read uh, each and every line every yes. point every word but while presenting you will only highlight the main points and then you talk about how these points are relevant to you okay. in your uh, classroom practices whatever okay. level you are doing so that is uh, most important okay. right? so this is common uh, you know, yeah this is a common suggestions for all of you so yes. as you read try to find out the main point and then sub points if you can understand main points then jot down those main points if you find it difficult which is the main point then go for explanation examples and all these thing sub points and then come back to the main point all right so it may be 20 pages uh, long uh, article but main point remains maximum 3 to 5 in my when i write paper i write only 3 points but it will be around 2500 words 3000 words because I'll be explaining, giving examples, yeah. lot of examples, something like this. So that is even in textbook. Uh, if you can mute your mic. Uh, even in re reading a book. So in book, if you do, you have main points, and then explanation, addition, and uh, connecting another paragraph, writing, connecting uh, the main point with the example, or example with the main point, something like this. That is the structure that we have. So even in our own language also, we have the same thing. What happens? Well, we can hear you, but the video has disappeared, sir. Please continue, sir. We can ah, hear you. No, my, my video is about your video also gone, no? Huh? Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, yes, you're back. yeah, yeah. You what's also? Again. Yeah, we can join again. No problem. <clears throat> right. So that technical problem, I think. I'll, I'll do this uh, now. It was, yeah, some technical problem. It happens. So, um, right. So, uh, any other questions you would like to ask? So, this is my comment. I don't find, you know, I don't point out language mistake because we all have uh, good points and <laughs> bad points. We sometimes make mistakes. That's common, but don't worry about the mistakes, okay? But there is a still scope for improvement, uh, the language use, pronunciations, and all these things. So don't worry, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? One or two mistakes if you make doesn't matter. I don't point out the mistakes, but only think the ideas, because idea, once you have the idea, that is uh, most important than the language, okay? Somehow, if you can get across your language, but yes, we need to minimize our mistakes, okay? Some of you have very good pronunciation, very good language also. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so these things. Any other questions you want to ask? So my common uh, general, uh, you know, suggestions is that continue reading uh, articles. Yes, sir. Okay? Continue reading article. Don't worry about uh, how you did. All of you have done very well, okay? You got very good marks, okay? Very you are now unmuted. Marks. Any questions you want to ask me? Yes. Yes. No, no, it's not. Uh -huh. No, that's what I say. Say, for example, uh, whatever uh, that 
I mean, paper you have presented and uh, article you have read. So first is okay. what is the name of the article, all right? And who are the authors? Yes. Okay. So that is first point. Second point, you see, what are the main points the writer talk about? How many points he is talking about or she is talking about? What are these points? All right. So this you need to highlight those points only. You don't need to go for example because while writing, we we write the one point and then we explain what does it mean. And then we give uh, examples. Sometimes we conduct an activity, all right? Say, so for example, I have conducted this particular activity. We don't need to mention all those things. Main point is the main point for us because we have limited time, five minutes time, all right? It is good that some people are absent. Otherwise, it would have continued up to five o'clock. Our previous experience, you know, 18 people sometimes, even though I say stop, probably some of you would like to continue. Like this, it goes on, goes on. That's why I, I have made it five minutes. So in five minutes, even if you get two minutes, just quickly say, this is the article I, uh, you know, written by so-and-so. Uh, he or she is working in that particular university or institution. And then the author has mentioned these five points. And these five points are relevant because this is new for me. I have not, uh, you know, got this idea before reading these uh, articles. So I'm going to implement back home in my classroom practice and try to see a better effect of my teaching, something like this. That two minutes you can complete this presentation. You are now unmuted. Yeah, if you get half an hour's time for presentation, you play, explain each and every point. But, and again, another you important point, muted. when we present article, it is not our idea, somebody else's idea. So we all we can always say, the author talks about, author says something like this, something like yes. that. This, this is not my idea. It you is his unmuted. idea or her idea. Uh, yes. 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 You yes. are now muted. Yeah. Yeah. How, so was, oh, how was my presentation, sir? Good, madam. Good. Very good. <laughs> All of you are present. Very good. <laughs> All of you. All of you have good language. Okay. Uh, say, sir, <clears throat> some of you have very good uh, pronunciations. Okay. Say, for example, Naga Prashad Rao. He is so very good. You only is your introduction was a little longer, okay, but your language is good. So I say, okay, continue. I'll say something like this. Good language, okay? Good. That's right. Thank you, sir. Thank so, you. So, yeah. Sometimes uh, one or two say, Harish uh, Joshi, sir. Harish Joshi, sir. And when you say discuss, discuss uh, has got about with a discuss. So we don't need to say discuss about. If you say discuss this, that, that is enough. So these are some uh, smaller, small tips. But all of you have done very well. All right. Thank you. Even if you say discuss about no problem, but as English teacher, we get to know uh, that this is a uh, better expression. Discuss politics, dis uh, discuss economics, discuss English, something like Discuss about it, about we don't normally need to say because about is there already in the discuss. All right. So that's some of these ideas. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Any other questions you want to ask? Kishina Rao. Next presentation. Huh? Yes. Next presentation. Next presentation. Uh, you are now what, muted. Uh, you have next, I think you have a lesson plan presentation and teaching practice. This this was, for, uh, I think, article presentation. Even ask Uzma, madam, uh, if, she, if she has something else. But normally we have this article presentation for high school teachers. All right. So, uh, and, and then uh, lesson plan presentation one day. How, what you are going to do will be, will be presenting before actual practice testing. So we'll be uh, listening to you and give our feedback and you incorporate those feedback and then uh, present uh, 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 your teaching practice. That's all. And uh, and then there will be post tests uh, and that's all. Online we don't have much because it's very difficult to arrange everything. Yes. Uh, I wish you could come uh, for face-to-face -face program, but you have joined online program, you cannot come now, right? Good, okay. So, any other questions you want to ask? <clears throat> so, uh, actually, while presenting uh, somebody's uh, thesis, whatever, uh, to the scholars like you, uh, is it always better uh, to make some bullet points and uh, uh, elaborate the points uh, looking at the camera? Or, bits of, see, in this case, what happened was uh, most of the time, uh, whatever the content with that we prepare, uh, we are practically looking at the pages and reading them out. It is not like uh, 
he yes. is really talking to the audience. Yes. In fact, there actually, is total eye contact was missing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, for online program, what we do, this if we are using camera, or sorry, this computer, laptop, so camera is there. We always look at camera. So yeah. if I look at camera, it will look like that I am looking at you. Exactly. Similarly, when, yeah. So that's what we need to do. Sometimes you look at this here. We look at this only to check messages uh, in the chat box. Otherwise, we always look at the camera. So if I look at the camera, you will look. You will see that I am looking at you. So same. Th that that is one. Second thing, bullet point only the main point. And yes. if there is uh, enough time, uh, you have enough time. Then you can explain. Otherwise, main point only the bulleted point is enough. And I would uh, request, you know, for you see, reading will not develop our spoken English presentation skill. So presentation only will develop our presentation skill. So you should always, you know, prepare well hundred times if necessary. But when you come, face the camera and talk to people, and that is what is my, my you know. Uh, I would like to. Uh, the entire content has to be there in the brain. You have to yeah, raise that. that is, that's have why to preparation have is necessary. Yes, that's why yes. preparation is necessary. Say, yes. for example, once I read the papers and then find out what is the main point, I take note of it. Take note of it. And then after that, whether I'm going for morning work, afternoon work, I'll be thinking of those five points. Those five points. Call, uh, uh, read, recite, and revise. Repeat several times. Reflect. Read, recite, reflect, revise, and repeat again. So something like so. If you prefer uh, two, three, four, five times based on your you know the things concentration, you can keep all the points in your head, and as you come, it will automatically come out because you are already you have done hundred times before actually doing it. So that is what is the peer. So even for uh, national international <coughs> conference. I go with PPT, but I don't look at my PPT. I talk about, okay? Because yeah. I have prepared so much. Why do I need to see? I know, and you are the one who prepared it. <laughs> yeah, I have prepared. So I have everything in my mind. And yes. once you take your notebook in front of you, you become dependent on your note. You feel like reading. So what I do, I prepare well and keep it aside. A little away from me so that I cannot reach it. Okay, so I depend on my understanding, my memory, something like this. So uh, it is always better, okay? and then your presentation become uh, better. But if you read and then see one point and then talk, then it uh, people see that he has forgotten the point. <laughs> so that is what the difference. So always uh, better. It is better if people couple of times uh, get ready and then present. Looking at the camera, you look at look at the camera and present it. That is better. <laughs> and again, some of us has some limitations. So you can take only a small note, a piece of paper, only uh, well, you know that is called three by five uh, papers, three by five, and just take the bulleted point. If you uh, if you are not convinced that you will remember it, if you feel that you will forget it, then take the notebook and keep it aside. In case you feel that you need to see, then you look at this. Otherwise, don't look at this. So that way, it's a matter of habit. If you do one time, first time probably you will have problem, but second time onward, you will, you know, make it <laughs> nicely. Yes. Yeah. No, so it, it was our own presentation, uh, as you said there. Uh, you would have definitely done it that way, sir. It was already done by some scholar, uh, some uh, eminent personality. So we should be very careful that uh, uh, using our own language, the original content shouldn't get disturbed, right? That is how. Uh, that is yeah. a little worry we have. That is the, that was the reason why we made some points, and uh, sometimes we had to practically read them. Yes, anyway, several thank times. Thank you so much you know, for that. that is actually, what happens, you know, well, I have uh, studied one research study. They said anything that we learn uh, within 24 hour, four hours, we forget 90% of what we read today, learn today. If the, many researches have been conducted and they found anything we learn today, we forget 90% of the things within 24 hours. So that's why what we need to do before that 24 hours come, we need to repeat once again. <laughs> Then this line, so it goes like this, it goes like this and then fall down, 90% fall, lost. 
and then it goes like this. And within one month, we forget 100%. That's why since I know that within 24 hours, I'll forget. So before that 24 hours, I repeat one second, revise it. Earlier, I have spent one hour for preparation. Next day for revision, I take five minutes. I quickly look at this. Again, this 24 hours get extended to another 24 hours. So if you two, three times, if you do that, then it becomes permanent. Then you will not forget. You, you might remember that many of the things that we studied in high school, in our school days, in our college days, we still remember. Because we like those points and we repeated several times. And second thing for us, all of us, for us teacher, it's good. If you learn something and revise it two, three times, and you teach somebody, then it becomes permanent. Learning, revising, repeating a couple of times, and then teaching someone. Say, for example, uh, what we have presented today, uh, looking at your uh, paper or note, and if you just meet one of your friends and just tell him, today I, we had, I am uh, I'm attending one, in, th th third is the CLD program at RISI. Today we had the article presentation. Do you know what article I presented? And quickly present for in five minutes, you just tell him. That will be teaching. So that will help you to remember what points you talked about. So meet another friend, he says, do you know, I have presented, I read a, an article and I presented it today. And all people from all southern states, they attended. Do you know the name of the article? So this is the name of the region by Swan. So, and tease in five minutes, tell everything. So it, it, you will remember it, okay? So this is the best practice for teacher. For that is a special benefit that we have. We have somebody to talk to. <laughs> so we can always do that. So read once, revise, repeat a couple of times, and then teach someone. It could be your friend. Means teaching means just tell, tell them things what you have learned. It is like uh, watching a movie for three hours and telling somebody what the movie about in five minutes. So something like that. That is revision. That helps us to remember the points. And then after doing this, if you go for real presentation in national or international seminar, you don't need to look at because you have repeated several times and you taught, told somebody. Now you can, without looking at them, you can tell them. <laughs> something like this. Good. Uh, so any other questions? Good. So congratulations once again. We call it a day. Thank you very much. Nice. Thank you, so much. you see, what I do, we know that... Uh, uh, another benefit of you. Yeah, yeah. Another benefit of uh, article, this kind of presentation in group is you see, I have not, I think two or three articles that you read, I read. Otherwise, others article, there are 15 people of 15 of you have presented. Now, listening to you, I got those ideas. <laughs> you my point. So this is another benefit of article presentation. You presented, I got the idea. Because you taught me, you, you, you narrated it, you presented it, I got the idea. So that is how we, we grow. <laughs> All right, this is another benefit of article presentation. So thank you very much. Nice listening to you guys. All right. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the wonderful presentation. I, I am very lucky to listen to all the beautiful presentations made by my, my, my friends. Thank yes. you so much once again. And uh, special thanks to Dr. Vitesh, sir. Thank you, sir.